good evening everybody and today we will uh, talk about the lycopodium lycopodium is uh, uh, is a teratophyta as you know that and this is uh, commonly or popularly known as the club moss uh, this belongs to the lycopsida lycopodials as well as the lycopodiaceae and nearly 400 species has been uh, recognized the classification is a teratophyta because uh, there is an independent gametophyta and a sporophyta sporophyta is having the vascular stands and uh, why this is a lycophyta lycophyta because the uh, sporophyta is consisting of uh, stem root as well as the leaves the leaves are very small in comparison to the stem uh, so this is a microphyllous condition each sporophyll with a single adaxial sporangium and sporophyll with bone in the strobili why this is a lycopodials member so the, because this is a homospory uh, condition is there so it produces only one type of spore also the gametophyta is subterranean this belongs to the family lycopodiaceae now the we are just um, g uh, getting the point that the, uh, how we can uh, identify the lycopodium because uh, as we just got the point that the, these are microphyllous this is a club moss but technically this is a small herbaceous one or shrubby uh, um, sporophyta is there and the if you are going to the sporangial shape this is a kidney shaped spore uh, sporangia is there the steel is a uh, um, uh, proto steel type it is maybe the plecto steel, actino steel, as well as the uh, haplo steel conditions may be there. The lycopodium is represented about by uh, 400 species, which are uh, worldwide in distribution. Some of the important species are uh, lycopodium hamiltonii, uh, lycopodium cernuum, lycopodium clavatum. So these are very common species, lycopodium uh, ceratum, squarosum, uh, and these are the some of the common species. Now we are just uh, confining ourselves into the uh, lycopodium so the lycopodium is a visible plant body is a sporophyta the this is a well uh, small herbaceous sporophyta and most of the tropical uh, species grow on the onto the tree trunk as well as the branches of uh, pendulous uh, epiphytes the this is a structure of uh, uh, lycopodium this lycopodium is uh, uh, like ly lycopodium uh, campanulatum lycopodium uh, phlegmaria and a lycopodium uh, uh, clavatum so these these are different uh, structures of uh, sporophyta as you know that the sporophyta is uh, is consisting <coughs> of uh, uh, root as well as the stem as well as the leaves are there uh, so in this case you can identify that uh, the uppermost part is the strobilus and uh, the aerial branching is there and then the also the leaf arrangement is also been there and there is a uh, rhizoids is also been uh, the these roots are also been there so this is a structure of uh, external morphology the sporophyta uh, plant body of uh, the lycopodium is differentiated to the root uh, stem as well as the leaf there is a great variation in form and habit of various species so it it go, it is go, going to change from species to uh, species it is occurring mo mostly uh, many species have been recorded from india more than 10 species have been recognized from india the lycopodium clavatum it has been recognized from eastern himalaya uh, there's a common name is club moss trailing evergreen ground pines these are the common names of uh, lycopodium all are herbaceous and stem and branches are densely covered by the uh, leaves the uh, this uh, clear parts is three clear parts is there the one of them is the root uh, the the roots and then the second part is the stem the stem is a, a weak uh, slender as well as the rhizomatous part is there and also the leaves are also been there so the leaves uh, are small uh, illegulate and sessile with a narrow apex and slightly broad base uh, they are mostly entire uh, leaves is there the leaves have a single uh, unbranched midvein is also been there so if i am just going to the internal anatomy this is a structure of uh, uh, the root um, uh, uh, ts of the root and in the root is outer is epidermis uh, there is a, a outer cortex as well as the inner cortex then the metazylum phloem as well as the protozylum so this is a uh, ts of uh, root and if i am just going to the ts of stem this uh, ts of stem is uh, again uh, the outermost layer is the uh, this uh, you can recognize as a epidermis then the outermost is a uh, above the epidermis is a cuticle then the uh, cortex is there and this uh, cortex is a uh, broad based cortex is there this is a three clear zones are there epidermal cell sclerotic cells as well as the thin wall with chloroblast cells is also been uh, there then the endodermis uh, then uh, uh, the pericycle um, phloem metazylum as well as the uh, protozylum so the this uh, this is a very interesting aspect that uh, this is a typically 
the proto steel condition has been recognized in proto steel all four type of uh, proto steel has been uh, recognized in this uh, case actino steel haplo steel uh, and uh, mixed proto steel as well as the actino steel has been recognized in the lycopodium so this uh, lycopodium uh, the another part of this one is the uh, leaves so this uh, this uh, the leaves internally the uh, the leaves is are somewhat the triangular uh, in shape and uh, the epidermis epidermis is outer layer uh, layer uh, supported by the cuticle most of the species are amphistomatic so stomata are uniformly distributed on both the surface of the leaf but in some species like ecobodium clavatum as well as the volubile, volubile uh, the hypostomatic uh, stomata is there where the stomata are confined only to the lower surface then the mesophyll is there and mesophyll and uh, the uh, other um, interesting features uh, are similar as the typical leaf of uh, uh, pteridophyta then the reproduction reproduction is usually by uh, two methods and one of them is a vegetative and another one is the sexual motor method the it can be vegetatively reproduced by uh, the formation of bulbels or gamy or it can be uh, reproduced vegetatively by adventitious branches uh, by fragmentation and uh, decay by uh, root tubers so it can be uh, reproduced by uh, this uh, method then the another one is that the reproduction by spore so spore um, uh, producing organs are there spore producing organs uh, these are um, called the uh, sporangium sporangium are born into the sporophyll the leaves uh, bearing the sporangia is technically called the uh, spore uh, uh, sporophyll and this uh, sporophyll um, which is having the sporophyll is a fertile leaf so this uh, microsporangium is uh, sorry the uh, sporophyll is there and sporophyll produce the spore because the lycopodium is a homosporous so it produce only uh, one type of spore now the another question comes to your mind at the position of the strobila strobili the shape of the sporangium shape of the sporangium is a kidney shape and this is a very characteristic feature of the lycopodium another interesting point is that the where the this uh, um, uh, sporophyll occur sporophyll uh, usually occur at the spices of the branches uh, the sporangia remain at axial in, in its position and found near the base of the uh, sporophyll uh, these are the typical structures of uh, uh, ls of um, uh, sporophyll and these are uh, having because they produce only one type of spore so this is a typical structure of spore mother cells are there in a spore mother cell producing the uh, this uh, uh, spore mother cell producing the spores spores are into the tetrad formation and the gametophyta uh, haploid spore it is uh, developing into the prothallus uh, the this prothallus is representing the gametophytic phase this is a uh, totally dependent on the sporophyta and uh, there, there are uh, um, uh, there are uh, different type of development of uh, prothallus has been uh, recognized sarnum type clavatum type and also by uh, fragmaria type as well as uh, three types of uh, development of uh, these prothallus has also been uh, recognized which is uh, development of the gametophyta on the basis of the species so lycopodium is a uh, uh, monoecious so male uh, uh, anthidia as well as the female archegonia is there and they are born into the same prothallus uh, and it produce only uh, one type of spore there is no difference between the microspore as well as the megaspore the uh, male one is called the anthidium as well as the female one is called the archegonia and then the fertilization has taken place uh, the archegonial um, archegonium is mature the tip of the neck canal uh, cell is going to split and uh, neck canal cell and ventral canal cell disintegrated to form the mucilaginous structure the mucilaginous substances with the certain citric acid diffuse the from the uh, archegonia and uh, chemotactically attract biflagellated pear shaped anthrozoites although many anthrozoites uh, may uh, enter into the archegonia only one of them fuse with the egg then the oospore formation has taken place then the um, development of embryo take pla takes place simultaneously uh, and uh, this uh, deployed uh, oospore of the mother cell is into the sporophytic generation the suspensor and the inner of the embryonic cell and ultimately the this uh, uh, embryo is forming the um, this uh, mature plant which is a sporophytic plant and this is sporophytic plant so it is completing the uh, um, life cycle pattern of the uh, lycopodium this lycopodium is uh, uh, if i'm just going to talk about uh, this life cycle pattern so lycopodium lycopodium can be vegetatively uh, reproduced uh, by bulbs or by gamy or by resting buds uh, by root tubercle uh, tubercles it can be reproduced by vegetative mean and if, if we are going into the 
lycopodium it is a strobilus strobilus having the sporangium uh, after the uh, sporangium is having the spore mother cell spore mother cell undergoes the meiosis or the rd division uh, it produces the haploid spore and under the germination it they produce the uh, protholi and they, uh, the pro protholi is representing the gametophyte and it have it is having the um, anthidia as well as the archegonia because it is a homospora so they both of them are into the one so there's a monoecious condition and this uh, uh, anthidia produce the erythrozoites uh, which are flagellated one and archegonia produces the axel and under the fertilization a zygote formation has taken place and zygote uh, once the zygote formation is there so this zygote develop into the uh, diploid lycopodium so this uh, by this way uh, lycopodium completes the like uh, life cycle uh, either by vegetative mode or either by the sexual mode of the reproduction so this uh, this uh, this all completed the life cycle of the lycopodium so this uh, this is thank you very much and uh, thank you